So you can just look at my internet speed now, it's over 300 megabytes per second. That's crazy compared to what we were getting. So let's see how we got there. So welcome back everybody. So are you tired of slow internet speeds on your Fire Stick, Fire TV device? Are you tired of buffering? Are you annoyed that you're not getting the full potential out of the internet you purchase into your device? Well, there's a solution for this. And even I was going wrong. I hold my hands up. I was going wrong up until a couple of days ago when talking to someone on Facebook and they pointed something out to me. So, you know we can wire our Fire Sticks in and we get a good speed and we get a more stable speed. But most of us, when we wire in our Fire Sticks, it's limited to 100 megabytes per second. But I'm going to show you how we can fix that. And I'm going to show you what I was getting before i done what I'd done. Before we do that though, if you can and you're brand new here, do remember to hit that subscribe button. We do cover everything streaming, whether it's your streaming device, your Fire Stick, your Apple TV, your Android TV, your Roku. And we cover a lot of the streaming apps and install guides all on one channel. And what I'm going to do come Thursday is I'm going to show you how to make the ultimate device. So if you want that video, do hit subscribe and that's going to be showing you how to wire in your Fire Stick, put a larger storage device on it, bigger hard drive, keyboards, game controllers, all on one device, all wired together in one super beast of a device. And that's coming in a couple of days. So what are we talking about? So let me just show you. So I'm going to go over to my settings. I'm going to go to my network. My Wi-Fi is connected and I'm going to run a speed test. Okay, run speed test. And that's running for us now. That will run quickly. And as you see there, I've got internet speed of 153 megabytes per second, which is actually quite fast. Um, and that's on a wireless internet, which can pick up interference and it can pick up, um, you know, blockages. You're going through walls. You could have use of your bandwidth, things interfering with it. And normally what I would do is run through an OTG cable like this. And it turns out these are limited to 100 megabytes speed. So if I run through an OTG cable on a wired connection, so it'd be wired in the end there. It would only allow 100 megabytes per second until I got this new cable. This new cable here is cheap and amazing. I'm going to show you in a minute and I'm going to show you what it can do. Let me just set it up quickly. So we can get my two cables. Where are they? So we've got the OTG adapter and my Ethernet. They're now wired in. And the Fire Stick will detect that we are wired. We go back one. Network. It will detect we are wired in. There it goes, Ethernet connected. We can turn that Wi-Fi off, don't need it now. Then we can do a check on this one. And we can run a speed test. And there we go, this time I got 288, earlier it was 366, but that's mainly because there's people in my house using the internet as well. When I can get even faster than that, which is amazing. Um, what's also useful with it, when you look at your advanced, you don't need to look for noise in your signal or anything like that, because it's all there, okay? So it doesn't show up any noise to your Wi-Fi. You're not going to get any dropout because you're wired straight in. Well, what this will do is boost your streaming experience. So there's nothing interfering it apart from what you run yourself. So your streams will be better and everything. So the cable I looked at was this one here, this Cable Matters Micro USB. There is some gigabyte cables out there, but on the Fire Stick, the USB socket itself is limited to 450. So there's no point buying a gigabyte one. This one goes up to 480. So it's plenty for what you need um, and it's cheap. So you have your cable there. You obviously plug the little USB into your Fire Stick. Then you plug your e um, Ethernet in the end and the main normal USB goes into your plug as always. It's as simple as that. So you just swap it for your power cable. Nice and easy, nice and simple. And it's all in there for you. Okay. And it's $15.99. So I'm going to link this underneath for you. So what it gives you is that smooth streaming experience and no issue at all. I will link underneath the USA link for it and the UK link for it. For anybody else, that's what it's called there, Cable Matters Micro USB, try this one. But do check, have a look online, but when you buy an OTG cable, when you buy an OTG cable, you need to check that you are getting all the power you need, shall we say. So you're getting the speed you need and enough power to power your device. So here's a recommended one. The downside on this one is without an additional cable you can't add storage and any wired keyboards or anything but not many people use a wired keyboard I know some of you use storage but even myself I don't use extra storage I've never had a need for it but come Thursday I'm going to show you how to wire it all together 
so don't worry brilliant so as always i've been doc squiffy do hit that subscribe button again if you're worried about your speed you want a good vpn which holds lots of speed we'll also link ip vanish vpn underneath for you this holds great speeds for your streaming so you don't lose i know on a vpn you lose a bit of speed so you want one of the fastest ones which is ip vanish we'll link that underneath for you as well all in the description so underneath you have the link for this cable you will have the link to my channel come and check out the rest of the videos and that's all we needed brilliant so i've been doc squiffy thank you all for watching i hope that tip was useful for you because i'm going to use it more often now and i'll see you soon